Hi, I'm Kevin Witzeman from Cottonwood Compounding. This is a Cottonwood Compounding video on semaglutide and how to get your medicine out of the vial. So this is the vial that we will give to you. We'll have different concentrations, just the sample one. When you first get it, you'll have a cap on it and you want to take that blue cap off, just like that. And that exposes this top part here, which is where we put the needle through. So when you receive it in the mail, you receive it in usually a little bag like so. This one's just for me, so it's a dummy prescription. It'll always say the units first, and then in parentheses, it's gonna say the milligram strength. You'll have the medication itself. It has to be listed out in active ingredients. So semaglutide, B12, and then the numbers at the end of it, 2.5 relates back to the semaglutide, one milligram relates back to the B12, and that's per mil. And then this medication itself is a two mil vial. We want to open the bag like so, and we will get an alcohol pad out of here. And then we always want to wipe the vial in one direction at least three times. And then keep this alcohol pad for your injection site to sterilize that as well. Either that being the stomach, the thigh, or the hip. Next, what we wanna do is, as you remember, on the prescription itself, it says we were injecting 25 units. On the syringe, we have a 30 unit syringe. They come in 30 unit, 50 unit, and 100 unit. If we are pulling 25 units out of this vial, we are gonna to wanna to put 25 units into this vial to create that equilibrium. And we're gonna do so by pulling air into the, to the syringe. So we'll pull air up to 25 units. And it's a good double check on your dose as well. We'll uncap it. poke it through and then inject it into the vial. At this point, we'll want to flip that vial upside down and draw 25 units out. Now at this, we can also go past because air bubbles will form at the top sometimes, especially when you get closer to the end of your dose. Then all we want to do is push that back up to our dose, pull that out, and then this syringe is ready to inject.